This video demonstrates how to use the Virtual Sign-In Board web app. VSIB is a web app and not a native app that you would normally download from the App Store. This allows us to give you real-time updates and keep our development and operational costs down. And besides, it just runs so much better. Okay, let us get started. Enter in VSIB.MOBI and hit enter into your smartphone's browser. This will load the Virtual Sign-In Board login screen currently being displayed. Next, type in your email address and password in for your account. I will use the account info that we used in the last video and then click Submit. If you do not remember your password, you can click the Forgot Password link and have it emailed to you. On every screen, there is a Help option. Clicking on this option will give you basic information about how the page works and how to best use it. We highly recommend that during the first time you log in, you make a bookmark of your app and place it on your home screen. This will allow you to access VSIB without having to log in every time. Start this process from the VSIB main page as shown here. To do this with the iPhone, just click Add button shown down here and then choose the Add to Home Screen option. It will then ask us to name the bookmark and we will name it VSIB. Now close your mobile browser and click on the bookmark icon you just created. It will ask to log in one more time and once you do this it will remember your login information every time you start VSIB. Now let's go over how to add a bookmark if you have an Android phone. Open up your browser and type vsib.mobi like we just showed you. Okay, now log in. Now log in with, your, with the user account that we set up previously. Okay, since you're on Android phone, click save the password. That will save your password for you every time you log in. It's a little bit different than the iPhone. Now go up and hit the three buttons, the hamburger buttons I like to call at the top right. Click on that. Now select the option down and toward the bottom it says add to home screen. Now VSIB is good. Now hit the add button and it's added it to your home screen. Now you can minimize your browser. There is your button right there, the VSIB logo and the button. If you click on that, then it comes up and boom, you're in the VSIB and now we're ready to proceed. This is the main page of the web app. I have multiple signing boards as you can see that I'm a member of. This video is just going to go over how to use the sign-in board features of our app. We have another video that will demonstrate the personal use features of VSIB that you see below, such as hunt journal, member forums, trail cameras, etc. That is the third video in our series and we highly recommend you watch it. So now we'll use the Perry Hunt Club sign-in board, but before we start, notice that there is an option to check all current reserve zones. If you click this, it will show you who is signed in for all your sign-in boards. In this case, it will show me sign-ins for Mulberry Creek, Reality Hunt Club, PHC, Power High Hunt Club, Osceola Hunt Club, and of course, Perry Hunt Club. This nifty feature allows you to check all your sign-in boards without having to access each one individually. Now let us click on the Perry Hunt Club option. Okay, I'm the administrator of this sign-in board that I created in the last video. As an administrator, my member account will be the only one having the administrator zones here, sign-in board settings, and reports. Reports consist of the statistics of the sign-in board. To navigate around the web app, use the buttons at the top left and right. The top left button will always take you back to the previous page. The top right button, which will be the home button, will take you back to the main VSIB page. Okay, let's reserve a zone. We do this by clicking on the reserve, unreserve a zone option. As you notice, it says Perry Hunt Club at the top, along with the wind direction, speed, and temperature. It will show the wind direction, speed, and temperature if you had entered a zip code in your sign-in board settings. The next section is where you can use the pull-down menu to see your zones. Then you can see a text box where you can enter your guest name if applicable. Then if you have entered sign-in board notes, they will be displayed as in this case shown here. Finally, you see some other options at the bottom and we will go over those later. Okay, now I can select a zone and this will show me all the currently available zones. I'm going to select Z2. I'm going to click the submit button and you'll see that it will reserve my zone. Let us say I want to change from Z2 to Z1. All I have to do is to select it and resubmit it. There you see it did it. 
If I want to add a guest, then I do the same way, except now I type in my guest name. Let me type in my son's name, Tad, submit that. Now you can see that I have two reserve zones, one for me and one for my guest. Notice the back arrow at the top left to navigate back to the Perry Hunt Club sign-in board. Before that, notice the home page at the top right. That will take you back to the main page if you click that. We will now go back to the main sign-in board page and choose current reserve zones. This page shows you where all the members are currently hunting, including yourself. This example shows me and my guests. You can also click on the view on zone map link to see each member's location on your zone map. If I want to unreserve a zone, I click on the name and zone I want to unreserve and it's gone as I'm showing you here. If you have observation reporting turned on in your administrative features, it will proceed to that page as shown here where you can enter what you saw. If you have nothing to enter for your observation, then just page down to the bottom and click unreserve zone. If you do not have observation reporting enabled, then it will just unreserve the zone. One thing to note is that if you want to change this observation report later, then you can choose the My Hunts option and select that hunt and click the Edit Observation Report link. We will go over this next in the next video, which is about how to use VSIB personal use features. Another feature we have is the option for a member to re-reserve a zone as shown here. This feature appears after 6 p.m. and lasts until 9.30 p.m., but will only allow you to re-reserve your current zone if you have reserved that zone before 6 p.m. So now that we have gone over the basics of reserving a zone and unreserving a zone, let us go over the other features on this page. At the bottom, you can see three more options including help. If you click on the show current weather brief, that will display the weather forecast for the next 48 hours, but only the times between 6 a.m. through 9 p.m. It will show the day and time, temperature, barometric pressure, chance of rain percentage, wind duration, speed, and top wind gusts. Now if you scroll down to the bottom again, you can see where you can now click the high current weather brief and it will just do that. The next option is show zone description. Let us click that. Here you can see the zones if the administrator has entered descriptions in photo. Let's click on view description for zone 1 that we entered information for in our previous video. Here you can see the information and photos that we had previously entered. Now let us click the return link at the top. Now let us hide current weather brief and zone descriptions. Now if you've uploaded a zone map, you will see the option to show zone map as shown here. Let us click on that. This page is basically the same as your previous page we have discussed except it shows your zone map. You can perform all the same actions as we have previously discussed. Here you can see the zone map and it displays all the weather information under the map. Now if you click the high zone map button, it will take you back to the previous page without the zone map. Let us click the show animated wind direction button. Look at that. You can see an animated wind error showing the wind direction on your zone map for the current wind direction. Of course, like all these options, you can click the hide animated wind direction to toggle off the animated wind error. Okay, the next menu option is called Show Future Forecasted Wind. Let us click on that. Here you can see the animated wind direction arrow going through the future wind direction for the next hour. You can also see at the top the date, time, and wind and temperature information as it goes through these future predictions. The default is 6 hours and it will always show during possible hunting hours between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. If you want to see out further into the future, then you can click the 12, 24, or 48 hour links. If you have a hard time seeing the information on your zone map, you can change the font color from the default white to either black or red. One thing more to note is that we use Dark Sky for all our weather forecasts. They are known to be very accurate for their forecasts. The last thing I want to discuss is this marked location by dropping a pin shown here. Let's click on this link. To do this, you just click on the map with your finger and it will place a pin there. You can pinch and zoom on your map to get better accuracy of your location. If this location is not correct, then do this process again until you're happy with your location. If we go back to the current reserve zone page and look at the zone map, you can see this location including your name. Next, I will go over the past reserve zone report, which allows members to search past zones and view their reserve history. The administrator of the sign-in board must have this feature enabled for other members to access it. Now let us look at it. The first thing you will see is a place to enter a start and end date. We will go with the default dates. 
We will now click the Submit button. Even though this is a test signing board, we do have some history of the zones we recorded earlier. Here you can see Z2 was hunted one time, and we can click on the View button next. Now you can see all the hunts for the zone during the specific date range. If the administrator has the observation reporter enabled, there will be a link next to that. When you click on that, you will see what was reported on that particular hunt. Now remember that this report will show how many times a zone has been reserved during a specific date range. This information is recorded only if a zone is reserved for at least an hour during daylight hours between 7 and 9 p.m. The next feature is called Administer Zones. This feature is just for the administrator of the sign-in board. This option is just like Reserve and Unreserve a Zone option, except the administrator can reserve and unreserve zones for all members. The administrator can do this by selecting the member's name from a pull down. Now let's go back to the sign-in board menu. Hit list is the next menu option that will show if the administrator has it enabled. A separate video has been created with instructions on how to set up and use this feature. Then rules link is next if your administrator chooses to use this feature. This link will show all your hunting club rules. Then share your location allows you to copy and paste a temporary link of your current location and share it with your friends on Facebook as shown. Okay, next we have a very basic and simple calendar that will allow members to add events to it. The next option is social feed. This page allows you and your members to post to a continuous social feed that all your members can see. Each member can also like or dislike each post. An image can be uploaded when a post is created. Harvest report, news, and to-do list are the next options and they show just that type of information. Only the administrators of the signing board can edit this data. One thing to note is that VSIB's default harvest report can be replaced by a custom report. This is covered in another video that deals with how to set up and use custom reports. The next option is members list. Members list will give each member's name, phone number, and email address. It will also show only the administrators of the sign-in board other members' emergency contact numbers if they have entered one. Emergency location allows a member to send an emergency text message with your current location to your sign-in board administrators and your emergency contact specified in your user settings. Please have your GPS enabled and only use this feature in emergency. Share photos consist of photos shared by you and your fellow sign-in board members. You can share these by uploading your photos to My Photos found at your main screen. Customer reports allow an administrator to create custom reports for their sign-in board to collect data from their members. These custom reports must be created and managed in the Virtual Sign-in Board Manager on your PC at www.virtualsigninboard.com. We have a video that explains just how to use these custom reports. Signing board settings features allows the administrator to change the signing board settings. We still recommend using the manager from your desktop, but you can do almost all functions here. Change signing board will take you back to the main VSIB page where you can do just that, change your signing board. One more thing is under the option label user settings. You can change your basic account information including your password here. You can see that here. Finally, the last option on this page is log out. This is not necessary if you want to remain logged in. Before I end this video, I want to go over some basic rules of the sign-in board model that we have constructed. Everyone must sign out by 9.30 p.m or a text message alert will be sent to the emergency contact number informing them that they did not sign out. Prior to that, a text message will be sent at 9 o'clock p.m. to an unsigned out member asking them to sign out. Members can reserve a zone for the next day starting as early as 7 p.m., but this time depends on how the administrator has the signing board set up. Okay guys, this is how to use the signing board web app. It is really that easy. We recommend become familiar with it before hunting season so you can focus on your hunts and not signing in and signing out. Thanks for watching and good luck hunting.